Welcome everyone, in this video I will show you the differences between a comparable interface and a comparator interface in Java. So for beginners it can be really confusing and I really want to make this simple for you. So let's get started. So let's say that we have a class, I called it comparable example and it only has one field, it's an integer value. So nothing complicated here, this is our constructor. This is our getter and this is our to string. And in here, this is where we override the compare to method from our comparable. But let's not go to that yet. So you often heard probably that comparable uh, implements like the classes natural ordering. And that is true because once you implement it, that is it. You cannot change it. And the way you implement it depends on how sorting works so that's why it's called like natural ordering once you implement it that's it java believes what you wrote and it won't ask you anything about the sorting anymore so a comparable interface has this uh, method compared to which you need to implement if you want to course implement this interface you see if I not if I delete this the ID will complain that we need to implement the method okay so once we implement it we need to return an integer so we just call integer compare this value and this other value and if ours is bigger it will return a positive value if it's the same it will return zero and if the other is bigger it will return a negative value so that's pretty much it. It is very, very, very simple. In here, we created three objects of the comparable example class, and we have values 20, 15, 10, and we put them into an array. And we also created an array list because we will sort both an array and array list. And now in here, we'll print the array and the array list. Then we will sort using array sort and collection sort. So those are implemented methods for sorting your arrays and array lists. Once uh, that is sorted, we'll print them out again. So let's run this and see the output. As you can see, we have our initial array 20, 15, 10 and our initial array list 20, 15, 10. Then we sort it. As you can see, it is 10, 15, 20, 10, 15, 20. As you can see, Java did not ask us anything about how to sort this. It used our natural sorting because we implemented the comparable interface. There are other methods which ask you how to sort your uh, objects and that's when comparator interface comes into play. I'll show you that next. But just to show you, if you reverse this, so if we add a minus here, if we reverse it and run again, you'll see that we'll have 20, 15, 10, 20, 15, 10. Okay, so that is comparable interface. It is, it is classes natural ordering. All methods that use sort and you put something in, they probably use comparable interface behind the scenes. So they call this compared to method. And now we'll go to why comparator is also useful and why we have both. Okay, well now I'll show you the comparator example. And as you can see, the first difference is between our comparator and comparable is that our class doesn't implement comparator interface. But our comparable example, we implement the comparable interface. And that is why this is called for the comparable interface that is called natural ordering because our class implements comparable and it's directly tied to our class. If you go back to the comparator, you can see there's nothing here. So we don't implement anything. We just have value, we have constructor, we have getter and we have to string. But in the main method, you can see that we created exactly the same thing. So 10, 20, 15, and we created an array list of these objects. We then added everything to our list and then printed it. And now, if I go here and I put sort, 
you can see that it's quite different from the collections.sort and then inside we passed our array or array list. But now we call this sort method on our array list. So if I write array list dot, you can see that we can sort and it takes in the comparator object of some kind. As you can see here, I put a new class, my object comparator ascending, and down below my object comparator descending. Uh, remember when I told you that Java didn't ask us anything when it comes to comparable, so we just wrote arrays.sort and what we want to sort, and that is it. In here, so when we type arraylist.sort, of course the name doesn't matter if I refactor this and rename it to some array list. You can see it also works. So upon that object, we call the sort method, but Java asked us, how do I sort this? And that's when we pass in the comparator class. And now if I go, let's say here, my object comparator ascending, you can see that this class implements the comparator interface. And it also has a similar method called compare, but it takes two objects like this. And again, we just return the same thing. So it's similar, but comparator gives you like the reusability. Of course, if you only need the natural ordering, if that's only what you're interested, comparable interface is the best. But if you have like complex objects that you want to sort on different ways based on some criteria, maybe the user input, comparator interface uh, comes in handy because as you can see here, this is descending and now we reversed, we have O2 first and O1 second. So this will sort descending. Let's run the program and see the output. Okay, this is our initial list, 10, 20, 15, printing ascending list, 10, 15, 20, printing descending list, 20, 15, 10. So it's very much simple. You can do similar stuff with both. So you can sort with comparable as well as with comparator. But once you implement this for comparable, you would need to change the source code. Uh, let's say the user changes its mind, it wants to uh, sort on different ways. You need to change the source code and uh, play with this method to change it. But in comparator, you can just put a different implementation and then switch the object, as you can see, I passed in here my object comparator ascending and my object comparator descending. So based on the user input, we can do maybe like if, blah, 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 and then put ascending or descending. So I hope this clarified it for you. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments and see you in the next video. Bye.